Hello, how you doing today? Welcome to an episode of Ubuntu and Open Source. Today is a treat. For not only am I showing you Ubuntu, but I am showing you Ubuntu running on my Raspberry Pi 3. And there it shows my Raspberry Pi 3 Model B. My Ubuntu's long term support 16042 with the LXCE. So this is my Ubuntu. And if you notice something here on the LX terminal, there's no there's no menu up here. As you can see, the LX menu, the top menu for Ubuntu has been working. So Ubuntu. Let me get this started. So my review of Ubuntu 16.04 got two running on Raspberry Pi 3B. Pros, it installs fairly easy. First boot up has set up for desktop. Many application and utilities. A config text for overclocking and more. Highly customizable as the standard PC meaning the themes, the icons, printer support. Many Linux distributions to choose from. Google is your friend for that. The cons of Ubuntu 16.04 running Raspberry Pi can't upgrade the hardware like a PC. The RAM, the video, the sound. Little to no third-party dev support are installing natively like Google Chrome, Light Zone, OBS Studio, the Steam Installer for gaming. But it's a Raspberry Pi. So there are going to be some drawbacks. Uses of Ubuntu Linux on Raspberry Pi 3. Surf the internet with Firefox or Chromium email with Thunderbird or other email clients into the software center, listen to mp3 files or streaming music, read EPUB books with Calibri or FB Reader, development like electronics with Fritzen and more. My review I give it 5 stars out of 5 for Ubuntu and Raspberry Pi. You can do whatever is in the Ubuntu Software Center and more if it's not dependent on the x86 personal computer processor. My example is NeoFetch that is only bash dependent and maybe some themes or icons that are installable, installable with the GW installer. It is a cheap $35 single board computer running modern software that is up to date with everyday use and more. I made this presentation with LibreOffice and Press running Ubuntu installed on my Raspberry Pi. And as you can see, many things many software uh, uh, are is available like right now I'm running you get to download Raspbian and Jesse uh, the pixel version um, as you can see 
the Compton effects here effects in my uh, top menu and I'm using Docky I installed Docky everything works this is another example of a uh, of some of the uh, installable applications this here I installed with GW package installer it has some custom features for the PC file PC man F file manager it has some custom actions for it now normally on LXDE you can't right click and empty the trash can. As you can see there's also open as root and custom actions here. And there you go. The trash can has emptied. So there are some third party stuff you can do. Thank you.